you have a chance to play today? What was the, you know, what did you have to go through to just get to that point confidence-wise where you could play? Like I say, it's just, uh, I just have to go out there and see if I can hold the ball and stuff. But in uh, the uh, middle of the week, I realized that I'll be able to go. So it was, it was all good. Uh, it's like a little plastic, uh, like a little co- plastic covering, just to make sure it don't get hit. How much did the Vikings? Did you feel like they were trying to poke it out more than usual? Or? Oh yeah, they was definitely trying to get the ball out, but uh, they wasn't really trying to like hit it or anything like that. Yeah. Did you experience any pain during the game today with that? Uh, yeah, it, it had a little pain and stuff, but uh, it turned out all right though. The way this offense is controlling the, the clock in these last couple of games. Do you feel like this, this team's trying to hit a strike, especially offensively? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, like I say, it's big time when you hold the ball for a long time, period of time, run a clock out, too. So uh, we we got to just continue to do that. Carl said that the goal was to run for more yards, I guess, than the past few, uh, just the attempts. Were the, were the plays more kind of called for a little more breaking, uh, breaking loose there? Were a little more dangerous call, run calls there? Uh, definitely. Uh, we talked about it at the beginning of the week about running the ball, and it's going to be having some openings. So. It, it happened just like that. The, the toss plays maybe would be the ones? Yeah, toss plays, yep. I want to talk about, uh, from other, other guys about, about your ability to get extra yards. Like when you, looks like you're stopped for no gain and then all of a sudden you got three or you got three and then, oh, no, you got six. And a lot of times when you're fighting for extra yards is when you lose the ball. But you seem to manage to have ball security and get the extra yards. How, how do you describe the way that you do that? Really, uh, it just starts in the room. That's just something that... Uh, our coach, a position coach, Bobby T, uh, expressed a lot uh, about uh, keep driving and protecting the ball. So it just starts with the mindset, and we always talk about that. Two weeks ago in that, in that Arizona game, you guys ran the ball just nine times, and Kyle Shanahan said that's because that's what the defense dictated. But it seems like in these last few weeks, you guys have been willing to run into heavy boxes, and you've been able to have some success. What, what's changed in, in the running game over the last few weeks? Really, uh, I got to give it up to the O line and the receivers on the edge, and really uh, Kyle and Mike uh, calling uh, good plays. So uh, it all plays out really good. When Kyle mentioned that your vision, he thinks, is maybe your strongest attribute, just seeing holes, cutting back. Has that always been the case? Is that something you've been very conscious of throughout college and now in the NFL? Or can you kind of explain why you're good at that? Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I, that's just you're running back, so it's just you got to have vision. So it's just something that I've been having. But uh, like I say, we expressed that in the running back room too, having vision. Bobby T, he expressed that, so uh, that that's a big thing for me. Elijah, I'm sure you had like 30 carries in games in college. Obviously, had 30 touches or whatever in the NFL. Does your body feel differently after 30 carries in the NFL than it did in college the day after? Uh, you definitely gonna be sore after uh, 30 carries. So, but uh, like I say, you just, it's all about taking care of your body, and that's something that I've been, been trying to do, and uh, just ask the vets and stuff about that. So, I've been doing a very good job of just taking care of my body, even after the game too. Well, you guys have used Debo basically as a running back the last few weeks. Do you feel like that's helped you at all? Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, Debo, man, he's he's incredible, man. Just the way he run the ball, he's a he's a running back to me. But uh, but yeah, most definitely mindset like during the game because you come out to press conferences you're really calm but then we see you in the game and once you're running with that ball I mean you become like a demon you're just going and your feet are just moving uh really it's just this is a different mindset on the field uh I just whoever's in my way I just try to just run the ball and run over them if anything or run by them so uh it's just a mindset that I have and I'm gonna continue to have that thank you